Hey guys, it's Lenny and welcome back to our channel. So this video is a little bit different. Okay, you might have read from the title. This is going to be showing you how you guys can build your stats really quickly. Now, this a lot of these methods have been around for a long time. I'm definitely not the founder for a lot of them. Some of them I just done like I just worked out myself and I'm sure someone else has as well. But this is sort of a bit of a help video for you guys to get your stats full. Um, yeah, so I'm going to run through all of them. I'm going to put at the start of each one a little arrow pointing to what stat I'm going to be doing. Um, I will explain that I'm changed to doing each one. Some of these are AFK, some of these you will need a friend, and some of these will take a long time um, that you do AFK, and some will won't take long at all. Okay, so the first one we're going to run through is the stamina stat. Okay, I'm in an invite only session and I suggest to do that so you, when you're doing this stuff AFK you can um, do it knowing no, no one's going to like mess with you and kill you and stuff. So as you can see there I'm doing the stamina stat. I'm going to show you, I'm going to go to my settings, I'm going to go to controls and I'm going to change my third person type. Okay, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the um, mode where I'm running once I press the R3 button and push forward on the R3 button. Okay, and that is going to be the alternate southpaw FPS. Okay, that's that one there. So when I push forward on the right analog stick and push it in, it's going to sprint. So what I can do is I can set my controller up so it sort of runs AFK um, by using either a rubber band, a hair tie, or a um, earphones off your iPhone. Okay, so you can see here I've just changed the setting and I'm just getting my bearings with what the controller does now. And um, what you need to do is you need to run yourself in circles with your R3. So push forward on the R3 and push in the R3 button and your character will start running. Once you have that, you don't need to hold the run button in anymore. Uh, once you do that, it'll once you get it to work right, it'll just run as you push forward. So what you can do is you can set your controller up with the earphones or a hair tie or a rubber band. Basically put it around the L3 analog stick and the R3 analog stick so they're facing like push towards each other. Open your interaction menu up once you've got that to work and set your controller up with the earphones like or the rubber band or the hair tie as I said before. So I'll show you a photo of my controller as it's set up doing this, um, this little method and the whole idea of the interaction menu open is so if a phone, the phone won't ring, so it won't take you out the animation of running. Okay, and that's how I have my old controller set up with my old earphones that I don't care about. There is a chance by doing this with your controller, you can stuff up the joysticks. I, so I just suggest to do this with an old controller. As you can see, I had a ratty old controller that I was using, and now I have it set up. It's just running in circles. Now keep in mind, put your controller in charger mode when you are doing this. Now I'm going to show you the strength and shooting stat. Okay, this one you can do um, together. So do your shooting first, and then do your strength after. I'll show you how to do this. Now for this one, you're going to need a friend to help you. Okay, and what your friend needs to do is they need to go in the clothing store that has the ability to change your outfits in the back. Okay, because once they go on the menu at the back in the clothing store, they will not get kicked off it if you shoot them. And we're just basically tricking the game into us shooting our friend in the head and that will build up our shooting stat very quickly with a minigun or with a new alien gun. So what you need to do, this is what your friend will have to do, they have to walk into the Spinko here or any of the shops that have a like wardrobe at the back and just go over to the outfits and go to standard and just scroll through your outfits so they can put their controller down and just make sure that the left analog stick is pointing up or down so they're scrolling through the outfits and that's all they need to do. And what we need to do as a person building our stats, we need to go outside and we need to get a motor motorcycle. Okay, so you'll see here, I'm just going to stand here and enter my other PlayStation. Go across to my other one, I'm going to put my other account in the wardrobe and just scrolling through an outfit. Okay, so you'll see just here, I'm scrolling through the um, biker suits. Okay, now from here, just run outside, request a motorcycle out or steal one off the street, but you need to drive into the binko, okay, so that it closes the binko for you, but it won't close it for your friend. And we will need the use of a minigun here, so if you don't have one, get your friend to give you one. You can use the minigun, the new alien minigun as well. Okay, so 
Just bear in mind, if you get your friend to give you a minigun if you're a low level, if you run out of ammo with the minigun, you will lose it, and they will have to go and buy it again and give it to you again. But um, I'm a level 140, I've unlocked the minigun, and all I'm going to do is just basically shoot that character in the head. Okay, this stat does not take long to do. Um, I think it's about 8 to 10 minutes you can build up. But just keep an eye on your right hand side top of your screen, your ammo, and just go into your interaction menu and just purchase the ammo over and over again and just keep shooting. So you will run through a little bit of money doing this, but um, this is the quickest way to get your shooting stats full. And yeah, you can get this done pretty quickly. So as you can see, every time I buy the um, ammo, it sometimes it costs me a little bit more, so that means my shooting stats are going up and I can hold more ammo. Okay, you don't see me completing any stat in this um, little tutorial, it's just showing you how you guys can do it pretty quickly. As I said, this does not take long, the shooting. Um, once you complete the shooting, you can pretty much go on to the strength stat. Okay, so while your friend is in that wardrobe changing clothes, you can pretty much put your weapon away and you can go and punch them and repeatedly punch them until your strength stat is full. Other than going into a death match and punching your friend back and forth to building up your stats, your strength stat, you can basically sh like punch them while they're inside of this wardrobe here and it has the same effect, you build up your strength. Now for some reason if you can't punch your friend it's because your target mode is set to strangers or attackers. So you just change that to everyone and you'll be able to just like repeatedly punch them um, by pressing the circle button on PS4. So as you can see here I'm going to punch and punch away and just punch them until my stats are full but I didn't do it in this video. This is just a little tutorial for you guys to show you guys how you can build up your stats. Alright, so this one can take a bit longer. I believe it's about an hour to do. It might be just under an hour but you can get your strength stat full quite quickly and that's quite handy when you're running around jumping off buildings and stuff because your character is stronger and they won't fall on their ass as much. Now I'm going to run into the stealth stat. Okay, This one is probably one of the easy ones. It is quite quick to do. Um, my controller is set up to standard FPS 2 and you just want to put yourself in an area where you're not going to get like run into and pretty much the same with the running like stamina stat as well you need to put yourself somewhere where you're not going to get like hit with a car or take yourself out of the animation of running or in stealth mode so as you can see I'm just going to show you my control settings are third person type standard FPS 2 and if I press if I press in my L3 button um, I enter stealth mode okay so and I just push my controller forward on the L3 and or to the side and I'm walking in stealth mode. Bring up your interaction menu and once you're walking set your controller up like you'll see in the photo in a second. Wrap a earphones around your L3 and R3 and put them towards each other as you're walking and with the, with the interaction menu open as you can see just there same as the running the stamina one. As you can see um, I'm just walking in circles. Now once that's full. Um, you can just back out the interaction menu and you can see when it goes up. But this one can take a couple of hours to do. But this will build up your stealth. So if you're doing missions and whatnot, you're a lot more stealthy and you don't get caught. Especially in like the new heist that we have. Now that one's the stealth one. Very easy to do. You don't really need yeah, much to do that one. Now this is the flying stat. This one is a pain in the ass, I'm not going to lie. This can take a while. Um, Ideally, you need to own a Hydra, okay? If you don't own a Hydra, you need a friend to help you with this one, and yeah, call it their Hydra through Pegasus. Now, if your friend leaves the lobby, I am I believe their Pegasus vehicle will be like reclaimed and you'll get kicked out of it, so ideally, you need to own a Hydra for this. This is the vehicle that we need to use. I haven't used helicopters, but this is what I use, okay? And all you need to do is request it out, and just basically pull the wheels up and you need to set up your controller. You'll see a photo in a second how I set mine up but I plug in my earphones to the bottom of the controller. I wrap it around the front of the controller and then I basically run it over the R2 button so the aircraft is lifting off the ground and then I wrapped my controller with the um, around the R3 
so it's spinning okay so as you can see there I've wrapped it around out of the um, earphones across the R2 back down to the um, R3 and wrapped it around the right hand part of the controller and that just basically keeps it hovering and keeps it spinning and with all these ones that you're AFK don't forget to keep your controller plugged into the charger okay because if you don't your controller will run out and you'll lag out of the session okay but that will get your flying stat up it takes a while but yeah that'll get it up that's how you get to do it AFK now your driving stat linked in the description will be a job that I've created and massive shout out to I believe it's pronounced I do dab he has put a post on seven sins on how to do an AFK race um, that will glitch out a 99 lap race and it basically builds half a stat of driving each time okay so you can see there I have a half a stat of driving I will leave a link to the job I created via his method and it will be in the description you guys can add that to your social club and do this with your friends you both can build up your driving stat at the same time um, yeah this one is like it's, it's yeah it's pretty pretty cool how it works you'll see in a second here once I launch the job the, the cars I use for this is the adders um, they seem to fit in the box that I created pretty well if you use a bigger vehicle I noticed that the it, the second vehicle will spawn sort of out of the box that it's supposed to be in you might need to drive yourself forward to get back into the um, spot you need to be in so it glitches out and finishes the race okay but it's set as a 99 lap race it actually takes about six seconds to complete and you'll see in a second here um, it glitches out and it just finishes the race very very quickly but like I said this job will be linked in the description and you guys can download it to your um, social club to your account so we'll just start up here and it basically glitches out and finishes the race usually the um, second person wins um, if it's like if you spawn into the correct spots and you guys can actually use this to unlock like you obviously you're racing if you're low level you can unlock your turbo and chrome and whatnot and yeah you can get that done pretty quick with this so you yeah, get bookmark the job in the description and yeah take advantage of this one so I'll just show you in a sec, I'll spawn back into the job, um, I'll replay it, and you'll, you'll see that my driving stat's gone up half a bar. So that won't take long to do with this little little method, you can get your driving stats up pretty quick, without having to do a bunch of races. So yeah, this is, um, obviously some of these can take a while to do, especially the flying one and the running one, but definitely, definitely take advantage of the of it while well, like of this method especially this driving one if your driving starts half full with this with a new account and um, you can see here my um, driving's gone up half a bar okay so what you run that two four six eight ten times and you got full driving stats now the last one doesn't show up on the um, like on the actual when you go to your pause players and check your your player out it's your like your um, lung capacity. Now the best way to do this method with the lung capacity, my footage did not save so it was a bit of a pain in the ass. What you need to do is go to the um, shop and purchase a scuba suit and then what you need to do from there is you need to go down to in the water somewhere, um, doesn't matter where it is, as long as you have a spot where you won't float to the surface. So either under a boat or under a ledge out where the reef is um, or in the center of the map there's a little um, like little rock that you can hide under in, in sandy shores there in that dam but all you need to do is put, plug your controller into the charge and just wrap up the um, the spin button so the R3 around and just wrap it up like I had it hide under the rock while wearing the scuba suit you won't run out of air but you will build up your lung capacity very very quickly with this method now at the um, end of each completion of each stack just make sure if you don't complete it just make sure you force a game save so change your outfit put a hat on change your glasses put a necklace or something on just so it forces the game to save if you don't do that there is a chance that it won't save if you just leave the session and all your all your AFK work will be for nothing okay so just make sure yeah buy something change something about your clothing and force that game save 
But um, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's helpful. Sorry if you guys know most of this stuff. If there's anything you guys want to share in the comments, please do so, so we all can know. And yeah, definitely take advantage of it. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.